Hey, welcome. My name is uh, Gennaro, business developer at Warlift. Today I want to show you a couple of major features that we brought to you to the 3.15 version of Warlift. Now, if you have not updated yet your Warlift plugin, please go on in your backend WordPress and update the plugin because you're going to have available two very important features and updates. I want to show you live how those features work and I'm going to do it from my blog. The first feature is actually about transforming directly a post, an article that you have in a vocabulary entity. So as you know, Warlift gives you the option to create an internal uh, vocabulary, which is a set of uh, key terms that you can find within your WordPress. Now, uh, what, is, what is an entity? An entity, as we know, it's something, uh, is a content which is evergreen within your website. So if you actually have something that you know you're going to talk about many times within the website and is really a key concept, that one for you is going to be an entity. Starting from this definition of an entity, uh, we can now decide what post or article we can transform in an entity. For instance, recently I put together a blog post, a very long one, about uh, a search engine called DuckDuckGo. Now, keep in mind, the length of the post is not important. What matters is the content. So, uh, is this content uh, an evergreen? Is this something that is strategic to your website? Is this something that, uh, you know, you're going to be talking about in the future? And another question that you may want to answer, uh, is this the first time that I write about this topic? Once you answer the yes, to those questions, then it's time to go on and translate that post in an entity. And that is what I'm going to do. Now, as you can see, I'm on my post here. I'm going to go in the back end. Uh, so I'm, do, I'm going to do it live. I'm going to transform this post in an entity. As I said, I'm going to translate the article about DuckDuckGo, since it is the first time that I talk about this topic since this is for me an evergreen and I'm going to be covering several uh, pieces and articles about this search engine, I'm going to translate this article in an entity and that's what I'm going to do. Now, uh, how uh, do I do that? Simply go inside your article like I'm doing right now, scroll down until you're going to find an option to uh, actually translate that article in an entity. Now, as you can see, uh, we support the main schema entity types, as you already know. And you have to decide uh, what, kind, what kind of entity uh, is uh, the uh, article. And so in this case, since I'm talking about specifically about DuckDuckGo, then my article will become an entity about that. So uh, since DuckDuckGo is actually a company, is an organization, I'm going to set this article as an organization. Once I do that, I just save. Once you have updated the article, so once you have saved uh, what we've done, so as I said, in this case, I translated this article in an organization, uh, we have to uh, take the additional step. And that's the second uh, feature that uh, Warlift uh, has actually uh, brought with the 3.15, which is very interesting. So now you can actually uh, run a um, search through the open data sets to find uh, the same as field. I scrolled right at the bottom of the article where you finally going to find a set of additional properties uh, which are actually metadata that we are giving towards search engines. So keep in mind that this uh, form that you find at the end of the article once you transform it in an entity is crucial because here you're actually giving additional information to uh, search engines and to make your content more, uh, way more easier to index uh, and also eventually to rank. Now, uh, this is the second feature which is very interesting. Uh, the same as field is very important. Why? The same as field is crucial because with this field, we are going to tell search engines what the article is about so that search engines will know unambiguously, uh, will know for sure 
what the content is about so that one since now i'm talking about duck duck go i'm not talking about an animal or anything else that could be you know understood by the search engine but i'm talking about the organization and as you can see, uh, Warlift managed to find DuckDuckGo within um, the search that is done. So basically, Warlift is going through all the open datasets that are available on the web and it is uh, auto-completing the search. Now, all you have to do is simply click on the uh, same as that uh, Warlift find found for you. And once you see uh, this uh, form actually filling out, uh, all you want to do is just to update the article so you want to go back scroll and update once updated the article let's go back to the form at the end of it and you can see now that magically the same as field has been filled by warlift which means that now your article has been optimized and you manage to actually pass the information towards search engine uh, of what you're talking about that's all for now and with those two features you can really make a difference in your seo strategy so make sure you take advantage of them see you next time